So in last week's episode, we travelled from the Mount Fuji to the amazing Nagoya Wow. Such a peaceful, quiet place. Beers just come up here. Pretty special. Pretty special. Here over right here, Gadamara Deer Park. Pretty awesome. See ya. And then we moved on to Nara Deer Park, an amazing park, peaceful. We just watch the deer. <laughs> so. <laughs> we then went on to one of the most amazing campgrounds I've ever been to. It's it's amazing. Is this in Yeah. That is so sick. You have arrived. So, we are so stoked with this place. This is literally no one here, but the people are so friendly. It's the bluest water I have ever seen. It's right on the river. Have a look at this. Come show them, Jazz. Here she goes. This is that like Kevin? <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> you love those shirts? No, yeah. I don't like wearing matching shirts. So, we got matching shirts, as you can tell. No, no, you got matching shirts. I got matching shirts. Ten round, ten in the back. It's a dragon. It's, it's a dragon. A and, and I'm hoping to put it up on YouTube, just so that people can see. One is, so these guys can see in 20 years exactly what we did. Um, and also, see how hard and challenging Japan can be sometimes, but um, how amazing it can be, especially the campsite we're in now. So, we'll show you around. Are you doing a Griswold thing behind me? <laughs> Good on you. So we'll come quickly show you where the uh, where the bathrooms and that are. So here's your toilets, washing section, and uh, an outdoor stove. And now we're going to take you up and quickly show you the showers and also the um, uh, what else? Mm, I don't know. Oh, the keep kitchen. Come on. So it's only a small campsite, like literally where that red sign is up at the end. Is a start. Here's the camp kitchen. Pretty amazing. So you've got all these little open traditional style pipes you can have. You've got your wash up section. But this you can use. Any of all their old pots and pans. Anything you wanted in there to be able to use in here. Okay, also all their um, Vachi grills, uh, all their chopping boards. So rainbow trout are down in the um, in the river, uh, Cho was saying. And if you want, you can come up and then cook them all up here. But tonight, I think we're going to do a little chicken and salad. So there we go. But we'll quickly show you the showers. They're just out here, as typical in Japan. Vending machines everywhere. But female showers. Male showers, we even got washing machines here as well. I think for four of us, this was uh, with power around about 70,000 yen, okay, which is about 100 bucks. I'll just, uh, sorry, put it about 90 bucks Australian. Um, but for four people, everything included, unreal. Now we're going to go for a swim, aren't we? Yeah, so let's get going. <laughs> It's going to be freezing. They say it's cold. It's not. I felt it. It's not that cold. Ethan was just being a little bit of a wuss. Okay. We'll take you down there. you got to see this water. It's amazing. You're super keen, aren't you, Jazz? Frothing. Frothing. Mm. Here's a little track we're going to go down. Have a look at that water colour. Oh, 
Oh my god. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. And it's crystal clear. You can see the bottom. Look at the bottom. Oh! That is so cool. Here we go. Check in. Oh. oh, can you see through that? It's so clear. We're gonna like the goggles on and go for a swim. Oh, there's a cave. Jazz. Here she goes. How cold is it? How fresh? <laughs> How fresh is it? Not that bad. <laughs> really? No, it's actually not that bad, but I've got so much water right here. <laughs> no, that was actually really no, nice. Tell us up front. How cold was it? Not that cold. Yeah? Not that bad. Ah, no. <laughs> How's it hold it, hold, hold. I think I spark. It gets better. <laughs> amazing oh water's so clear did you have fun yeah oh loved it so jazz and i decided to go for a little bit of an explore and found this little um pond of fish have a cup of squeeze i don't know if you can see them i'm not selling I have no idea what they are. What, are you, what type of fish do you reckon they are, Jase? Can you say rainbow something? You reckon they're rainbow trout? I think so. Just don't look colourful enough. There's heaps of them in here. Going exploring with Jazzy. Oh, lovely. That's the girl we love in there. Oh, Kate, look at the cable car. Oh, that is a cool. Jazz bought, bought her first. It's a, it's a, what is it, a little cool picks, kind of cool picks, an older one? Yeah, I don't even know. But just having a play with photography. I think it's cool. So, this is a little, um, little obviously, cart that takes you across there. You're using the lines. But we could hear before timber guys up there and trees falling. So obviously uh, logging the pine forest. That's cool. So we found another trail down. And Jazz is just shooting down this section. Oh, bit of a trick getting down here. Pretty amazing, eh, Jazz? Show us what you got. I can't really see if it was the stairs. Oh, uh, I've actually done. These ones or the, <laughs> I tried the fish eye. Yeah. It's too much blur and everything. Right, that's it. You just gotta try. 
and find that one that works. I like that one the most. That's good. It's good playing with it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well. A little adventure over. Go back to my own knees. Oh, you might attack us. <laughs> Every now and then this music just plays at a certain time. What do you think it is? Alright. Kind of trippy, eh? Well, I'll have a beer and enjoy that. We're going to cook up some dinner tonight. I'm actually just going to throw together some um, some chicken and some plum sauce. Okay, on the little cooker that we've got here. Probably in one of the best. What the heck? What are you doing? I wanted to go down there, but I'm not going to eat. You want to go swimming again? No, I wanted to go walk down there. No, no. Okay, probably one of the best locations, I reckon, ever. Just have a look at this. Amazing. You can see the, the river. The guys up there are still fishing. But, we'll whip into this. Well, and see what we can produce. First things first, let's kick this bad boy out. Yeah, nice. Just the heat down. Hand on. A little bit of oil, not too much. 7 Eleven, extra virgin. Okay, so, let's throw this on. Oil's nice and hot. Be careful this. Spray that big old knot. Like you can tell, Dad's not a share. <laughs> It did boil over a bit and hit me, but let's see how we go. And she's frothing away. Just keep spin. Beautiful. And then, might as well kick out the 9% Suntory local juice. Not a bad drop. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, no upset. I cleared my sinuses. Okay. Just while uh, dinner's cooking, I thought I'd actually just quickly run you through some of the um, some of the things around the Elmont. Uh, the, uh, we were dealing with um, Kimi at uh, Tokyo, at uh, one of their branches over there. Amazing, couldn't be more helpful. Um, the van is set up to actually probably sleep, you could sleep six at a squeeze, but it'd be tight. I mean, four of us, four adults, is, is, is pretty full. But um, it has a full 12 volt system. Uh, we were off grid last night. It ran uh, the max air fan, the fridge, uh, all of our charging capabilities. We woke up this morning, we're still sitting on 82%. Uh, battery, so really, really good. Um, we've got the, I think I've shown you this before, the two bunk beds at the back. There's Jube, sitting down. We actually folded that down in the bed. How was that last night? Better. Yeah, and then we squeezed up in there. I could get out easier. Yeah, and this had a little bit more cushion on it. Top one was a little bit tighter. The kids, we actually had it at the bunks. We actually went and bought I think so just those little blue um, extra mat mattings like things because it was going to be too 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 hard for them. And then we have a toilet obviously in there for emergency use only. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, and then a little kitchen cabinet. Okay. But we ran the max air fan last night. We ran the lighting. We ran everything off grid. 
We work out what? 80%? Versus, yeah. You know, we didn't run the air con or anything like that, but that was good. Nah. It was easy. It was really, really easy. Um, I have these big storage lockers at the back. Um, we've got extra luggage stored in there. You've got access from both sides. Been going and stored in here. Okay. Access to the toilet in here. Uh, additional storage down here. Fuel. That's where we dump the fuel. Um, if you're putting fuel in Japan, get help because it's not easy. Don't go up to any any servos that have self written on them because it's just a pain. You just each one's slightly different and you can't work it out. Some don't accept um, normal credit cards. They only accept Japanese credit cards. So always have cash on you. Um, and hooking into mains power. Their mains power is slightly different uh, for their RVs. So. Um, what else? Drives on room. Yeah. Little Toyota. Brilliant. Good van. Okay, let's get back to the chicken. Put her on. For about, oh, about 10 minutes or so. Just slowly marinating that plum sauce on a bit of heat. See how she goes. There's Wonder Boy hanging out the back. You in his bunk. That's much better. No one with the bugs in. Uh, anyway, we've just finished up with the chicken, and we're just about to whip her inside, dish, plate her up. You came for dinner, Jazz? Yeah, bro. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. These bad boys. Oh. How many eggs did my ass? 9%. I just didn't know. Ready for me to dish out? I just didn't know what you'd like. Get that in your gob. Uh -uh. What sauce is that? Uh, it's like a plum sauce. I think did it's it like, come uh, with it or did you buy it? I bought, I bought it separately. I think it's for pork, but anyway. Let's we'll see how we go. Just gonna pour some sauce over it. Do you want some sauce over it? That's nice sauce. Alright, this looks pretty good. Everyone's stuck it in. Like it. So, I've got no idea. We just knocked up these salads. Um, stolen from where? Norman. Norman. What is it? Some. Lawson. Yeah, some Lawson thing. But, looking forward to it. Tuck it in. How's the chicken? It's good. The sauce is nice. Yeah, it went well with it. Even though I think it's a pork sauce. Yeah. So, oh, I'm going to tuck it in. Probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I want to hear a whistle more. <laughs> I love that thing. And he's the most gorgeous one in the world. Yeah, you go, have a sleep. Good. Yeah. Found another little place we can explore. Where? Down that end. Yeah, so we're going to go exploring down the rocks today. We're going to hang around here till about oh, 10 to 11 when we finish up. And we're going to take off. found some salamanders, so let's go and have a look. Thanks. Where are they? Here. Oh, wow. Right, it's got red. There's another one over there. Over where? Right there. Oh, okay. He just took off. Yeah. That's amazing. It's on the rock too. Yeah. yeah. There's red underneath them. That's crazy. How'd you spot that? So we spent the morning exploring this amazing river and the rock pools. Let's go! Good. 
through here. Wow. Big poop. <laughs> Big poop lady. <laughs> you done? Absolutely no rush to leave this place today, but this place is awesome. Cannot rate this place high enough. Have a look at this. Fish everywhere. We've got the whole campsite to ourselves. Can you believe this place, Jude? Oh, it's beautiful. Best place we've saved? Oh, yeah. It's very peaceful. Yeah. I like watching the fish. They're pretty nice. I mean, and I know Jazz loves this place. Yeah? Yeah. How was that swim? Very good. Sorry? I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. You know what movie that's from? What? Dumber and Dumber. I like it a lot. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. It's just... Just these little cottages. You know? So you can come and camp in the camper, in the cottages, and up the back here, I'll just take you around. We've got spots for what they call in um, Japan, auto camping. So you just park basically van life, campers, cars, whatever. And we've just got these spots, there's four spots along here. Four or five? No, four. So you just park your car along here, there's a little track down the back down there, just down over there, so you can see, each one of these is a power box, I'm showing you, see all the power boxes, and yeah, so this has got all these four lots, forest up above you, river below, fishing too, heaps of guys fishing, looks like salmon, ah, salmon or um, trout, I'm not sure, but beautiful. Okay, just leaving the most friendly um, hosts that we've ever had. How nice are those, you? Oh, they're lovely. It's almost sad to be leaving this. It's so beautiful. On to the next place. Campsite for the night. Your destination will be on the right. Which is however you pronounce that. <laughs> Got no idea. Amazing. It's pretty quiet again. Mind you, it's a Monday. Each place has got its own water, power, little uh, barbecue. Um, yeah, really nice. Once I can pronounce his name, I'll tell you what it is. Bye. Just walking through the Japanese gardens and the place that we're staying at looks amazing. Come on, have a look.
Kind of cool. Definitely, it's got to love their garden. They are so good at it. So, what day in the camper van are we? Three, four? I don't know. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. Car park. Day four. So, day four. No, we've done four nights. Okay, well day five. Yeah. 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 Day five, so it's almost halfway through. So we're trying to get down to um, Hiroshima, uh, but we're going to drop into the islands just below um, from where you go from Kobe ac across to Hiroshima. So we're going to duck into those islands and have a look around. Kimi the van, getting us around Japan. Mm. This is the, the hatch. Just met the nicest Japanese couple. Michi no Eki. No, no. No, but I know that's not their, their name. Their name is Leo and Juni. And they're just over here. I don't know if you can see them. So helpful. We're going to head from now on. Uh, through the islands from Kobe across to um, Hiroshima. Um, Hiroshima. 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 I always pronounce that wrong. And we'll see how we go. So we're going to go up and have a look at all these whirlpools. Wow. I wonder if it actually is better. It would oh. depend on the tide. Ooh. It would depend on the tide. Well, let's go see. Breaks up the drive. Don't have to go for our shows, but I'm the bridge. There's massive whirlpools. Ooh. And up we go. It's only a short walk. Steep. But steep. Uh, anyway, I'm almost at the top. Only another hundred stairs or so to go. This is from the top of the observation. Naruto. Jump back in the van, keep heading down the island chains. There's a little kidney over there, if you can see her. Yeah, I think I'll show you a video of it. So, what just happened there, Jib? Um, well, I don't know. We thought we were going into this, which was actually, we thought it was a supermarket. And what was it? It was a poker machines. Poker machines. But they weren't poker machines. They were like. So I walked in games. and uh, there was full poker machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show you a video I, after. I didn't that. take much because Jazzy didn't like me doing it. I just turned around and walked out, and Julian and Jasmine walked in. Oh. It was crazy. Anyway. Yeah, but are they, Point B said I walked with? out and Julian and Jasmine they just decided oh well, yeah, someone, well came someone came up and decided oh we'll, we'll go and play. You're lucky we didn't stop and do it. It looks yeah. so much fun. Yeah, on the pokies again, Jim. Yeah, that was fun. Look like fun. Okay. 
So we're staying at uh, Tara camping ground. So we're gonna have a little explore around this little beach yeah. underneath this massive Did bridge, another set of bridges. One of the few standing buildings that survived. Literally is just the shell of the building. Guess who's lost? Looking for the bamboo forest. Sword for the 